Halloween, originally created by the Celtic people in Europe around 2,000 years ago. Hey, they're my goats, for real. Halloween is arguably the best holiday that we human beings have created. Like, come on, guys. What other holiday is doing free candy giveaways like this, bro? Like, Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year, man. Nothing hits more than the spooky, scary season that is Halloween. So today, we're going to be discussing the joys that come with Halloween. All right, so first, let's talk about the costumes. Now, Halloween really allows you to let your creativity run wild. Like, you really have the freedom to dress up as anything you want, no matter how weird it is. Like hell, you could dress up as a ketchup bottle, a roll of toilet paper, some craft dinner macaroni and cheese, a furry. Like, feel free to let your imagination run wild no matter how goofy of a costume idea you come up with. Now, going to school on the day of Halloween was always one of the best parts because you get to see everyone in your school's different Halloween costumes. It was like the school became a museum, but specifically for Halloween costumes. And dude, I'm gonna be real here, for the majority of my time living on this planet, all of my Halloween costumes sucked ass. Like, I'm talking major donkey cheek. Bro. The only good costume I've ever had in my life was deadass in kindergarten, bruh. And it was a full Spider-Man suit costume, and I just remember loving that costume, man, since the first time my mom showed me it. And the next day, I remember flexing my new costume to my kindergarten friends on our Halloween walk around the neighborhood, and my ass thought I was Spider-Man running around thinking I could climb walls and web sling. Yo, dude, you're not Spider-Man, bro. Bro, stop! Bro! But sadly, kindergarten me didn't know that the Spider-Man costume would be where it peaked in the costume department. Cause the years following that, my costumes were straight booty cheeks. Like bro, I would just put on a wizard hat or a witch hat or a pumpkin hat without the rest of the costume. Cause well, uh, we were broke man and couldn't afford the funds for cool costumes. So I would just wear regular clothes instead. Like bro, it was really rough coming to school with my lame ass costume while everyone else had fire costumes. And dude, I remember one of my friends had an entire Jason costume with the mask and everything everything and even a machete and dude i was just so jealous bro because i wanted a costume like that so bad but i knew my mom would not buy one because she would think it would be a waste of money and dude i remember this one time in halloween man i straight up dressed up like a nerd bro like nah man and i was proud of it too i remember i was going around to my friends like uh -huh, look at me i'm a nerd with the round glasses on and shit like nah bro those were some dark times bro like i really peaked in kindergarten for halloween bro now we gotta talk about the halloween decorations now my family we, we didn't really celebrate Halloween like that, so we wouldn't decorate the front of our house with Halloween decorations. Because we couldn't afford to spend any money on that shit. But bro, one of my favorite parts about Halloween is seeing everyone's decorations on the front of their house. Like the differently carved pumpkin designs, the spider webs, the skeletons, and all that stuff. Like they just help you get into the spooky Halloween spirit, which I'm all about that. Like I swear some people are so early to set up all their decorations. Like it could be the middle of September and you'd see at least a few houses that already got their Halloween decorations set up. Like damn! Damn, there's still another month to Halloween and they're already locked in and ready like that. And then you got the people who go balls to the walls with their decorations and put maximum effort into making the front of their houses look like an amusement park. Like damn, these people really got that Halloween dog in them to be spending thousands on Halloween decorations. Huh? Like they got all the decorations with the cool lights and the animated Halloween props that make laughing and screaming noises. Like shit, slide me a few bands, bro. Like their decorations be so good that sometimes when I walk by one of their spooky scary props, it low-key got me worrying if someone's just acting like a prop and getting ready to grab me or something like i'd be treading lightly and have my guard up at all times ready to fight every time i trick-or-treat at one of these houses now we gotta talk about the absolute best part of halloween which is trick-or-treating now dude i was always just so excited to go trick-or-treating when i was younger like who wasn't like you get to walk around the neighborhood and get some free candy from strangers all for just uttering a sentence trick-or-treat like honestly that sounds like a good deal to me till i see a white van that says free candy bro Free candy? Yo, I'm still walking my ass straight over to that van. Shit, it's free candy. Like, bro, I'm telling you, nothing is better than free, man. That's what I preach. But when I was younger, I would just go around the neighborhood with my mom trick-or-treating door to door, and it was just a wholesome night. But right when we got home, my mom would straight up go inspect her gadget on all of my candy, emptying the entire bag on the floor, checking every single piece of candy and chocolate to see if they were laced with anything bad like razor blades or harmful substances. Like, she did not let me eat a single piece of candy until she was done inspecting it. But, like, the thing is, I'm grown up now and i did a little research and apparently all this lace candy stuff is a myth 
Granted, there have been cases in the past, but only like 200 confirmed cases since the year 1958. So that shit is rare as hell. Like, you'd have to be one unlucky kid to get a razor blade or some harmful substance near your bag of candy. But not gonna lie, I would still check your candy, just to make sure. And as I grew older, my friends and I would start to go trick-or-treating together, and that was where the real fun began. Cause having the freedom to go trick-or-treating with your friends without any supervision from your parents allowed you to go absolutely crazy. Hey, best believe we're on our trick-or-treating hustle grind, hitting up every house around the neighborhood. Like, we took trick-or-treating like it was a sport, bro, cause we would compete with one another to see who would end up with the most candy by the end of it. Like, we were not playing around when it came to that sweet Halloween candy. And dude, sometimes you'd walk up to a house and this would happen. Trick or treat, trick. Oh, 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 tough crowd out here, eh? Yo, bro, just give us some candy, man. You don't gotta be doing all that. Like, bro, I swear these adults thought that was the funniest joke to make to kids trick-or-treating. Like, bro, just shut up and give me your candy. I'm on the clock trying to be my friends over here. And, dude, single-handedly, the best place to trick-or-treat is at the rich neighborhoods, man. Like, bro, that's where the real riches are at. Like, over at the rich neighborhood, they be giving out two times more candy. And they be giving out jumbo-sized chocolate bars, too. Like, dude, if you've never been trick-or-treating at the rich neighborhood around your area, bro, Oh, you gotta try it. It'll change your trick-or-treating career. You gotta get that sweet, sweet, sweet pay raise. You'll go from rags to riches, bro. Like, I remember my first time getting a jumbo-sized Kit Kat bar from this one house, and I was like, damn, I'm trick-or-treating here every single year now. What the hell? Because the Kit Kat bar didn't have two bars of chocolate. No. It had fucking four. That's 2x the original value. Now, that's what I call stonks, boy. And, bro, sometimes I would fill up my entire bag to the brim of candy, and I would have to start putting candy in my pockets, hoodie, or anywhere else that would increase my candy storage even by a little and bro it was just so exhausting carrying an entirely filled up candy bag all around the neighborhood while also running around like it was a straight up workout lugging that fully maxed out candy storage and when i would get back home and drop off all the candy i was tired as hell gasping for air and fiending for a huge gulp of that h2o in my system but come on guys most people at that point would be content with their one bag of candy but me nah 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 i was not no quitter but a halloween hustler at heart this was merely only the beginning because my ass would grab a second bag and head on outside for seconds bro like this candy shit was serious to me and after i filled up another bag of candy that's when i would call it quits because at that point i've been running around the neighborhood for probably three hours plus and my ass was way too exhausted and ready to head on back home to drop off the goods and i would pour all my candy onto the living room floor just to bask in the glory of my spoils of war and of course my mom would come over and check the candy but after she was done i would go grab my ipad mini from my room and take a picture of all my candy and post it on instagram to show my friends okay listen man this was back in 2015 okay and i was young so it's passable. Looking back now, it was cringe, I'll admit it. But hey, come on, man. Younger me worked hard to earn that candy, so I had to do a little candy spread on the gram. Like, this was a kid version of a money spread. And dude, I was just a candy fiend when I was younger, and I would munch up so much candy, so my mom would always try to hide my candy bag. But I would always sniff it out and end up finding it. And another thing I gotta mention is the chocolate factory. Now, in previous years of Halloween, I wouldn't even go trick-or-treating, and instead I would go to this chocolate factory after school and line up for like two hours. And they'd set up this miniature haunted house you'd have to go go through with these people locked in cells acting like fiends screaming and shit. Not gonna lie, it was kinda scary, but I was a kid, so that's probably why it was scary. But getting scared was worth it, cause by the end of the haunted house, you'd be rewarded with a big bag filled to the brim with chocolate, and it was amazing. I probably went to the chocolate factory for like 3 years maybe, until they started lowering the amount of chocolate they give out per person. Like bro, they went from giving big bags to giving bags that were filled like barely half. Like bruh, that's when I realized I could be getting so much more candy trick or treating than wasting 2 hours waiting in a line for some mint. Like, bro, the line stretched down the entire block and probably even more. Like, there were so many people lining up for some ass. So I stopped going the following years and I just hustled on that trick-or-treating grind for like 10x the reward. All my homies hate the Chocolate Factory and Willy Wonka. Alright, well, I wish you all a safe and fun Halloween. Now go out and collect that candy. And if you're too old to trick-or-treat, I don't know, go sit in the dark with your thoughts or something. And make sure you brush your teeth. Anyways, I'm out. Bye! Wake up, healthy.